The NCR Ranger armor is undeniably one of the coolest sets in the Fallout series. Not only is its design iconic, but it is the only non-power armor armor to appear on any Fallout box art. But did you know that the Rangers are real? What some may not realize is that the Rangers in Fallout draw inspiration from another post-apocalyptic franchise, which in turn draws inspirations from real life. Welcome to yet another episode of Fallout IRL. This is the series where we take the events, people, and technology of the Fallout universe and go over their real-world counterparts. Today's episode covers the NCR and Desert Rangers of Fallout, the Desert Rangers from the Wasteland franchise, and the Arizona and Texas Rangers from our own history. From the virtual wastelands to the untamed frontiers, these rangers have become legendary figures embodying the unwavering spirit of protection and the pursuit of peace. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's start with the history of Fallout's Desert Rangers. While their presence in the classic Fallout titles may have been relatively brief and more of a nod to the Wasteland franchise, the Desert Rangers still hold a significant place in the game's lore. Though information about the group is limited, let's piece together what we can. The Desert Rangers emerged as a survivalist group in the desolate post-apocalyptic landscape of Nevada. With members descending from the legendary Texas Rangers of old, they focused on honing their skills in survival and small arms proficiency. Their aim was to make the wasteland a better place. Among the ranks of these rangers, one notable figure stands out, Tycho. He is the sole desert ranger to make an appearance in the Fallout franchise. Venturing into the unforgiving wasteland, Tycho utilized his experience to improve the lives of those struggling to survive. On occasion, he would return to his group, bringing supplies and goods from his travels. Tycho's experiences took him far and wide, eventually leading him as far as the Gulf of Mexico. Exhausted from his constant traveling, he found respite on the west coast, taking a break in the small settlement of Junktown. As for the rest of the Desert Rangers, for years they would protect Nevadan settlements from rowdy raiders and terrifying tribes. Renowned for their exceptional combat skills and tactical prowess, they stood unmatched in battle against any opposing force. That is until they met a sizable tribal group in Arizona. A notorious faction dubbed Kaisar's Legion was sweeping their way westward, annihilating, absolving, and assimilating any who crossed their path. Despite the Desert Rangers' superior equipment and training, they found themselves vastly outnumbered. The conflict with Kaisar's Legion resulted in heavy losses, forcing the surviving Desert Rangers to flee westward into New California Republic territory. With their survival at stake, the Desert Rangers had no choice but to consolidate their forces with the NCR Rangers. In 2271, the Ranger Unification Treaty was established, forging an alliance between the two factions. This alliance not only ensured the survival of the Desert Rangers, but also bolstered the powerful and respected NCR Rangers. This leads to the other party part of the Ranger Unification Treaty, the NCR Rangers. The New California Republic Rangers are a faction with a rich history and significant influence within the Fallout universe. Founded during the early years of the NCR, the Rangers were originally formed by Seth, the captain of the Shady Sands Town Guards. Their primary mission revolved around combating and eradicating the despicable slave trade both within and beyond the borders of the New California Republic. Operating with limited resources and manpower, the NCR Rangers often found themselves outnumbered in the face of daunting combat scenarios. This circumstance honed their skills in covert operations, enabling them to conduct stealthy raids on slavery camps and discreetly smuggle liberated slaves to their numerous hidden bases. Their relentless determination to bring justice and prosperity to the California wasteland played a pivotal role in shaping the values and principles of the NCR as it stands today. The NCR Rangers' unwavering commitment to confront raiders, slavers, 
and other threats demonstrated that, even in the post-nuclear world, the ideals of democracy and justice could flourish. Their actions exemplified the potential for a society that upheld individual freedoms and safeguarded the rights of all its citizens. Over time, the NCR Rangers evolved from their initial focus on combating the slave trade to becoming protectors of all wastelanders, defending them against any form of tyranny or oppression. This expanded mission allowed them to serve as a stalwart defense force, ensuring the safety and security of the eastern Mojave borders. The NCR Ranger Force would gain some additional manpower when a weakened faction, coincidentally also named the Rangers, warned of an impending tribal threat. This led to the signing of the Ranger Unification Treaty, solidifying their alliance and establishing a unified defense against common enemies. And that concludes the basic history of both the Desert Rangers and the NCR Rangers within the Fallout universe. However, it's worth noting that prior to Fallout, another post-apocalyptic franchise developed by Interplay Entertainment had their own version of the Desert Rangers. For those who may not know, Wasteland is a computer role-playing game that was released in 1988. It was developed by Interplay and published by EA. Alongside another successful title called The Bard's Tale, Wasteland garnered considerable acclaim and popularity for Interplay at the time. The success of these games laid the foundation for the development of what was initially conceived as a spiritual successor to Wasteland, a post-apocalyptic RPG called Armageddon. This would quickly be changed to Fallout. As a spiritual successor, Fallout would contain plenty of references to Wasteland. One of these would be the Desert Rangers. The Desert Rangers began as the 253rd Engineer Battalion of the Arizona National Guard. Stationed deep in the Arizona desert, the engineers found themselves constructing roads and bridges on the day the world ended in March 1998. The isolated nature of their location proved to be quite the saving grace. Unaware of the cause or reasons behind the nuclear war, their supplies, military training, and knowledge of the region gave them a distinct advantage over other survivors. The rangers took over a federal prison, freeing the prisoners in a show of mercy. It was within the confines of this prison that the rangers realized their long-term goal. In a new post-apocalyptic world teeming with monsters, cannibals, mad scientists, and cultists, a counterforce was required to restore balance. The 253rd Engineer Battalion answered every distress call received through their radio. They welcomed good-hearted individuals, imparted survival skills, fortified settlements, and aided in the development of a stronger, more stable civilization. While they never achieved the numbers necessary to govern the entirety of the wasteland, the Rangers' past efforts allowed many communities to thrive. High Pool became a heavily protected water source sustaining life in the wastes. The rail nomads established extensive trading and transportation networks, and the Ag Center transformed from a modest farming community into a massive food research facility. The tireless work of the rangers ensured that the dangers of the wasteland were kept at bay. As you can see, the inspiration behind the three virtual ranger factions, the Desert Rangers, the NCR Rangers, and Wastelands Desert Rangers, is rooted in the concept of lawful vigilantes dedicated to maintaining peace. Wasteland's Desert Rangers were a surviving faction that shared their survival knowledge and training to assist budding post-apocalyptic communities. Fallout's Desert Rangers, Tycho's group, served a similar purpose, providing aid and training to survivors of the nuclear apocalypse. And Fallout's NCR Rangers focused on safeguarding the New California Republic's borders from the most depraved, such as slavers and other nefarious individuals. While Fallout's Rangers were inspired by Wasteland's Rangers, Wasteland's Rangers in turn drew inspiration from the real-world Texas and Arizona Rangers, further highlighting the fascinating interplay between the virtual and real worlds. Art imitates life and all that jazz. 
While I may not be a Wild West historian, I have played a lot of Red Dead Redemption, so I think that counts for something. The Texas Rangers, much like their fictional counterparts in Fallout and Wasteland, have a storied history, being part of many of Texas's most iconic events. The history of Texas can't be told without the Texas Rangers. Founded in the early 1820s, the Texas Rangers played a vital role in shaping the Lone Star State and fighting for its independence. Their origins go back to a time when Texas was still part of Mexico, and the need for a skilled, mobile force became increasingly evident. Originally formed as a frontier defense force, the Texas Rangers were tasked with protecting settlements, combating Native American raids, and maintaining order on the ever-expanding frontier. Under the leadership of men like Stephen F. Austin and John Coffey Hayes, the Texas Rangers quickly earned a reputation as fierce and effective lawmen. Like their fictional counterparts, they became legendary figures known for their marksmanship, tracking skills, and unwavering dedication to justice. During the Texas Revolution, the Texas Rangers played a pivotal role, providing vital intelligence, engaging in skirmishes, and contributing significantly to the fight for independence from Mexico. Their services were invaluable, and following the successful revolution, they continued to safeguard the newly established Republic of Texas. Throughout their history, the Texas Rangers were tasked with a wide range of responsibilities, from suppressing cattle rustling and countering banditry, to pursuing dangerous outlaws and investigating major crimes. They were often called upon to navigate vast expanses of rugged terrain, relying on their intimate knowledge of the land and their ability to adapt to changing circumstances. Just like the other ranger factions we've discussed, the Texas Rangers became synonymous with courage, resourcefulness, and an unwavering commitment to upholding the law. They embodied a symbol of authority and justice in the untamed regions of Texas, earning their respect and instilling a sense of security among its residents. The legacy of the Texas Rangers is still evident today. In addition to operating as a civilian police force for the state of Texas, many books, movies, shows, and even a museum document their many tales. Their impact on the state's history, culture, and mythology cannot be overstated, and their influence on the portrayal of rangers in the Wasteland and Fallout franchises is undeniable. Now, as the Texas Rangers made their mark in the southern frontier, Arizona Territory recognized the need for a similar force to establish order and secure its path to statehood. Enter the Arizona Rangers, a group of lawmen who mirrored the infamous Texas Rangers. Formed in 1901, the Arizona Rangers were created with the purpose of combating crime, maintaining order, and protecting the citizens of the territory. Their role was crucial if Arizona were to join the Union and overcome the challenges posed by its vast, rugged terrain and scattered communities. Just like the rangers in the fictional universes and the Texas Rangers, the Arizona Rangers were known for their exceptional tracking skills and marksmanship. They expertly navigated the unforgiving desert landscapes, relying on their extensive knowledge of the land and their ability to endure harsh conditions. Their proficiency with firearms and horseback riding further solidified their reputation as formidable lawmen. The Arizona Rangers were instrumental in combating various forms of criminal activity that plagued the region, including cattle rustling, banditry, and labor disputes. They augmented the overburdened local law enforcement agencies and managed to establish a sense of security and order in Arizona's frontier communities. Their dedication and actions played a significant role in laying the groundwork for Arizona's eventual statehood in 1912. And although the original Arizona Rangers were disbanded in 1909 due to political reasons, their legacy endures. In 1957, a nonprofit organization called the Arizona Rangers was established to honor and recognize the heritage of the original Rangers while providing support to law enforcement officers. 
The Arizona Rangers, both historical and the subsequent nonprofit organization, serve as a reminder of the enduring influence and impact of the Rangers' legacy in the American Southwest. Through our exploration of the NCR Rangers, Desert Rangers, Wastelands Desert Rangers, Texas Rangers, and Arizona Rangers, a common thread emerges. A legacy of resilience, duty, and unwavering dedication to justice in the face of adversity. These ranger factions, whether they exist in fictional universes or in real-life history, have captured the imagination of gamers, historians, and fans of the Wild West, showcasing the timeless themes of justice and bravery in the pursuit of a better world. From the scorched landscapes of the post-apocalyptic wastelands to the untamed frontiers of the American Southwest, these rangers have stood as beacons of hope and protectors of the innocent. They have faced down marauding raiders, lawless bandits, and the chaos of a world gone mad, all in the name of maintaining order and ensuring the safety of those they swore to serve. Across these different universes and time periods, rangers have become symbols of resilience, supporting the notion that, even in the darkest of times, the fight for a better world is always worth it. Thanks for listening. If you liked the video, be sure to share and subscribe. Have a good rest of your day. Cheers.